we are going to learn perspective projection in the perspective projection uh, it appears that projectors are converged at a single place so this is the object and uh, this is projection plane and this object is projected on projection plane as a dash b dash and this is the center of projection so how can we find the next dimension of projected image or projected object so here we have taken three dimension x axis y axis and z axis and bc is the object and it is going to be projected on a plane which is perpendicular to z axis okay this is the plane and this plane is perpendicular to z axis so this is a single point projection yeah one point projection there are three types of perspective projection first is one point second two point and third three point in one point projection plane is perpendicular to one of principal axis so here this projection plane is perpendicular to z axis so it can also be perpendicular to any of x, x axis or y axis but it should be perpendicular to one principal axis and if it is a two point so it should intersect two principal axis because here it is parallel to x axis this projection plane is parallel to x axis and y axis or it is perpendicular to z axis in single point similarly two point projection and three point projection is there so in two point if the projection plane is parallel to one of the principal axis or if the projection plane intersects exactly two principal axis in that type of projection there is two point and three point pers if the projection plane is not parallel to any principal axis in that case it is three point so i am going to uh, first show you in the single point perspective projection so this is the center of projection zc so zc is distance this is o o to a zc and it, a coordinates are 0 comma 0 comma zc and bc is object projected on this xy plane so it is x dash y dash and 0 and i am going to find find x dash and y dash so this triangle a b dash c dash so i have constructed this a b dash c dash a b dash c dash and a b c so this is y axis value there is y here and here y dash so from this triangle y dash divided by ab dash equal to y upon ab okay from triangle rule similarly from this triangle a b dash o a b dash o if you find so a b k this is k a b k and a b dash o this distance which is z c upon a k z c upon z c minus z this is a k equal to z c minus z equal to a b dash divided by this distance so a b dash upon a b if i compare these two equation so so y dash upon y equal to z c upon z c minus z so y dash equal to if z c we come out in denominator so y upon 1 minus z upon z c okay so it is y dash similarly if we compare x value from a b dash o so this is x dash x dash upon x x dash upon x equal to 
फ्रॉम हियर जेड सी अपॉन जेड सी माइनस जेड सो एक्स डैश इक्वल टू एक्स डिवाइड बाई वन माइनस जेड अपॉन जेड सी इन वन पॉइंट परस्पेक्टिव प्रोजेक्शन द मैट्रिक्स इफ वी एज्यूम वन जीरो जीरो This is R. R is value for z equal to. We have taken x y plane, so I have put it at this place. If we will take y z plane, then I will put here a variable zero 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 one, and the matrix is x y z one. If I multiply this equation, this matrix, I will get x y z R z plus one. so this is not homogeneous way for converting into homogeneous coordinates we will get x divided by rz plus 1 y divided by rz plus 1 okay. and z divided by rz plus 1 and last 1 so which is equal to x dash y dash z dash and 1 projected value so if we compare these two values x dash to x x dash from here equal to it is x upon 1 minus z upon zc or from here we will get x divided by rz plus 1 so after the calculation x x can be cancel 1 1 so r equal to minus 1 upon zc so this is the value of r for matrix representation in perspective projection so matrix representation of perspective projection would be 1000010000001 minus 1 by zc 0001 so if you want to find this object should be projected on this So we will directly multiply by this perspective projection matrix. Okay. It is for z equal to zero plane, where center of projection is center of projection. So center of projection is zero comma zero comma z c. This was the center of projection. there is another concept of vanishing point vanishing point mean in the same distance on opposite side of this plane the object will be converged mean at is a like center of projection like this place so that vanishing point is just opposite to coordinates of center of projection 0 0 0 minus zc it is for z equal to zero plane for x is equal to zero plane same center of projection would be xc comma 0 comma 0 and for y equal to zero plane 0 comma yc comma 0 so this is the matrix and this matrix for uh, x equal to zero plane here we can put minus 1 by xc so that is represented as a p so p equal to minus 1 by xc and for y there is a q representation in each book that is minus 1 upon yc so for all three point projection the matrix would be 100 and uh, p 010 q 001 r 0001 okay this is for three point for two point any of one would be zero and for single point one 
in on all three only one will be non zero and remaining two are zero where p equal to minus 1 by xc q equal to minus 1 by yc and z equal to minus 1 by zc okay so this is perspective projection thank you